All right, so today what we're going to be learning to do in five minutes is to draw lines in AutoCAD. So this is just lines, not polylines, not circles or arcs, just lines. Let's get to it. So first things first, on your top here, remember, make sure you have the Home tab. Here you'll see Line. Now, if you don't have that there, you can also just type in Line or L into the command line. You'll get there the same way. But for right now, we're just going to be using the line tab here. So several different ways to draw a line. First way to draw a line is you pick a point where to start. Now, this could be a coordinate. So if I want to start at 0, comma 0, I could start there. Uh, there we go. And it'll ask me what my next point is. Now, if you notice here, I'm not using anything fancy like dynamic input. So if I wanted to go at 5 feet at 45, I could put the at symbol in the command line here. 5 and then less than 45 the less than stands for angle in AutoCAD we hit enter and it'll draw a line at 5 feet 5 inches 5 meters whatever you have it set up to draw it is there at 5 now I can turn dynamic input on by clicking this little button right here you'll see it right there now if you do not have this dynamic input button right here come over here to these three lines click and you'll see it right here it's gonna be hard to see it's gonna be off the screen for you guys right now uh, let me move AutoCAD over a little bit, see if I can get to show. There we go. Boom. This guy here and turn on dynamic input. All right, move it back on over. There we go. So looking at this here, we're going to turn dynamic input on, and we're going to repeat the same process. So we're going to go to line. Again, where do I want to start? 0, comma 0. And you'll see it here. So now I'm going to do 5. I'll enter it in. You'll see it. Again, dynamic input showing you on the screen. We're going to hit tab to go over to the other thing. 45 at this point we can hit enter right now if we were guaranteed we like the line but if you just want to see it first just hit tab again and voila you can take a look at it you'll see the two locks if you like it hit enter and that's another way you can draw a line at 45 degrees now of course you don't have to draw it at 45 degrees you can always pick anywhere as well you don't have to do zero zero if I just want to start right here and draw a line at uh, 10 and I want to go at 30 degrees why not enter it'll draw a line at 30 degrees. That is completely up to you. But the theory is still the same and it still works the same. Now, other, other ways to draw a line is you can turn on ortho here. Um, but just note, when you're in ortho mode, notice your cursor or your line, I should say at this point, can only move in certain directions. In fact, every 90 degrees. So if you want to draw a quick five by five box, you could just by quickly dragging yourself in that one direction, five, maybe five and drag this way five and drag this way five in fact you could have just closed the line at that point but why not get the practice so again that's the lines by direction is kind of what i refer to it as um, the other way to draw lines is using polar so right here you'll see something called polar tracking now if you click that and then click the little down arrow you'll see several different options so let's use this one here let's use 30 60 90 120 what that's going to do, and I'm going to turn dynamic input off. You can leave it on if you want, but I'm turning it off. So that's what it's going to do is when I'm drawing a line now, it's going to lock every 30 degrees. So anytime you see that green line appear, that's every 30 degrees. So that's 60, that's 30. So if I put myself at 30 degrees here and dragged my cursor out once it locked, and then let's say I wanted to go 20 with myself locked here and hit 20 and hit enter, and I'll draw a line out 20. Simple enough. Now, of course, when you're drawing the line, you can click, 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 right? How do you get out of the command? Well, either you can right click the mouse and hit enter, or you can slam that escape key like you hear me doing in the background probably right there. Um, really so, or you can hit, use the space key. Now, um, what I do is I usually set my uh, right click to do the enter command for me, so that's how I exit the command. So again, and these can all be customized as well if you don't like these here. You can always go to track settings and pick whatever you want. Here's all the angles. You can go to new and pick every one foot and be annoying if you want. Um, you can do that as well. That's up to you. Um, so with that being said, now how do I draw a line that snaps to another object? So I have a line here or it's just say even a circle here. Um, I want to snap from the end point here to the center there. Now you can see it working automatically here. So when I hover over and you see that green magnet, that's what we call O snaps, and they're on currently. That button is right here. You'll see it called, oops, sorry, 
right over here called object snap so by clicking this you can tell it which ones are on or which ones are off meaning if i want to go to the endpoints and centers only i can turn those off so now all i'll be able to do is go to the endpoint and the center now real quick i know we're at the five minute mark right here but real quick let's say i do not want to use osnap i can't stand it you can always go in the line command hold your shift key and right click the mouse and you'll also be able to do the same thing as well as pick whichever ones you want. So as you know, as I'm in the line command, hold shift, right click, I can go to the end point here, to the quadrant here, and then to the end point back here. So using shift and right click, you can do it as well. Well, thank you for watching. My name is B, this is the AimCant channel. Make sure you like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys in the next videos. This was a quick five minute video on how to draw a line.